Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another BitTensor Brief. Today, we're going to be covering TauFi Subnet 10, uh, which describes itself as the financial layer for decentralized AI built on BitTensor. So TauFi allows people who have MetaMask wallets and assets on the base blockchain, specifically Ethereum, uh, USDC, or Tether, to purchase subnet tokens in the BitTensor universe without requiring them to go get a BitTensor wallet or buy some Tau on an exchange and use it within their BitTensor wallet. So if you're just a you know regular person using MetaMask in the Ethereum base universe, you now have access to 128 decentralized AI companies, otherwise known as subnets, inside the BitTensor ecosystem without requiring you to actually enter that ecosystem with a special wallet and a special coin. So users can execute swaps in one click using the MetaMask wallet. So the, the wallet you already know and understand and have assets in, you can just use that. Okay, so now if you go to taofi.com, you'll see this interface. And it looks very much like what you've seen with Uniswap or you know any sort of DEX. Um, if you're used to using MetaMask or whatever on Solana, same thing. Um, and basically you come here and you can see uh, the assets that are in the wallet that you've connected. So in my case, I've got uh, Ethereum in base on the base chain. And I also have a little bit of USDC on the BitTensor chain directly. I won't talk too much about that right now. And previously, I've used this interface to purchase Templar, uh, which is subnet three. And I've, I've got 1.8 Templar tokens, uh, again, directly on the BitTensor chain. Um, so these, you know, if I had some tether, it would, it would show up here, tether on base that is. So as you can see, I'm just using a MetaMask wallet and connecting with the wallet I have and the assets I already own. Um, and I can use them to buy subnet tokens. So here's subnet three. Again, I own 1.8 Templar tokens. Uh, here's shoot subnet 64, ridges. These are sort of the more popular ones. So they're at the top, but all 128, uh, subnet token assets are in here. So you can buy them using your MetaMask wallet, using assets on base, and you can buy them natively. Now, there is a little bit of a catch here. Um, you know, before I, I, you know, when I was talking earlier, I told you that I had some Templar, right? So if I go to my MetaMask wallet, there, I will not see these Templar tokens in that MetaMask wallet. Um, the only place I will see them, this 1.8 right here, I'll only see them when I connect here to TauFi.com. And the reason for that is that the subnet tokens that I have actually exist only on the BitTensor chain. Those are BitTensor subnet native tokens. And what's happening here under the hood is my MetaMask wallet, which is connected to TauFi, is being used to remote control a cloud wallet, a native BitTensor cloud wallet, um, that's hosted for me by TauFi.com. Um, now, TauFi.com has no access to that cloud wallet, even though they're hosting it for me. Only I have access to it because my MetaMask wallet is the key, which is used to remote control this cloud wallet. So my tokens, when I buy them, are on the native BitTensor chain, uh, but they're not in my MetaMask. They're in this cloud wallet, which is why I can only see them when I'm connected here to the TauFi.com interface. So it's a little weird. It's a little different from things that you've probably used in the past. You're used to when you buy a token, you see it immediately in your MetaMask wallet. That will not happen here. But there's very good reasons for why they did things this way. So you're like, why is it weird like this, right? Why did they do it this way? And the reason why is because they wanted you to be able to buy native BitTensor subnet tokens using all of the liquidity, which is already amassed in the trading pools on the BitTensor chain directly. So the other, you know, kind of the other way to do it and the way that other offerings that are trying to do what TauFi.com is providing, the way they do it is with a standard wrapped token and bridge. And there, there's pluses and minuses to that approach. Uh, but one of the big minuses is that with, with a wrapped token, you now have to build up liquidity from scratch on this other chain that people have bridged across, right? The subnet tokens, you have to have a lot of wrapped subnet tokens and you have to build up liquidity pools on Uniswap or whatever on that chain. And 
you know, it takes time for those liquidity pools to build up. Whereas there's already rich liquidity and big, you know, fairly large liquidity direct, directly on the BitTensor chain. There's 128 liquidity pools already built up over there. So if you don't have enough liquidity, you know, kind of over here in, with the wrap tokens, when you buy something, you know, every buy is going to push the price up like ridiculously, right? Because if there's very thin liquidity, that means every purchase makes the price jump way up, right? Unnaturally so. Like it shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that, right? So, um, so that, that, that's the disadvantage to doing it that way. Taofi.com gives you direct access to the very rich liquidity pools on BitTensor so that when, with every buy, you're not pushing the price up insanely, right? So, um, so that is sort of a, a much better way, uh, from a cost savings, you know, perspective. Uh, and, you know, frankly, stability, right? The bridges and the wrap tokens historically have frequently been hacked. That's been a giant vector of attack. So because there are no wrap tokens, there's no bridges uh, on TauFi, that style of attack cannot happen to them. That's that style of bridge hack and attack, right? So um, so TauFi.com is uh, ostensibly quite a bit safer because of this way of doing things. The price they pay is the UI is just a little bit wonky, right? Because you don't see the subnet tokens in your MetaMask. Um, but this, you know, the, the advantages outweigh greatly the dis that one disadvantage. And I think over time, they can probably make a little bit of a better UI um, on their main site and let you kind of see what's in your, in your remote controlled cloud wallet uh, a little bit better. And I think they will do that in the very near future. Okay, so where is all this going? Well, uh, Top Five's got a great roadmap. So in Q3 of 2025, uh, they've announced that they will, in addition to base, be providing Ethereum mainnet support. So you'll be able to use uh, the Ethereum chain and all the assets that you have on the Ethereum chain already. And specifically, that means Ethereum, ETH, um, Tether, and USDC. Um, and there will be Tau lending on the BitTensor EVM. So that's, so you'll be able to stake these assets and borrow Tau on the BitTensor EVM. So pretty cool. Uh, and in Q4 of 2025, uh, Solana integration is coming. So you'll be able to do all this, all the stuff that you can do on base right now. And pretty soon Ethereum, uh, you'll be able to do on Solana as well. Uh, and apparently they're going to be launching also at the same time subnet perpetual tokens. So you'll be able to get, you know, so you have perp, so basically perp deck stuff with subnets. So think something like Hyperliquid but with subnet tokens, right? So you'll be able to get leverage on subnet tokens. Like this is going to be insane, right? On Solana. So pretty wild. Yeah, and uh, one of the last things we want to cover here is uh, liquidity provision. So right now, so this whole, the, the, the whole mechanism that, that TauFi has designed here, um, it relies on there being rich liquidity uh, between uh, USDC over on base at the moment um, and and Tau, right? So the ability to have a rich liquidity pool, USDC on base and Tau on the BitTensor chain, right? So they've got this sort of cross-chain liquidity pool set up, and that's how all the assets move from base into Tau, and then from there on the BitTensor chain, you swap Tau, or actually you stake Tau um, to create subnet tokens. That's how you get them, right? So so in order for Tau Fi to work, it needs one liquidity pool that's uh, pretty large between USDC and Tau split across two chains, right? So right now, so they want to incentivize you to help them by providing deep liquidity for that pool, for their own pool. So right now you can earn triple digit APR supplying USDC to that pool, right? They need a lot of USDC. So supply a stable coin uh, and get triple digit APR. Pretty cool. Okay, so once again, the site you want to go to is taofi.com. Uh, I have used this site. I personally love what they're doing. I, I, I feel like, and I, I've been talking about this for about a year, um, this is a huge unlock for uh, regular crypto people to get into BitTensor, right? So the people that are not used to the BitTensor universe um, now have a way in that they did not have before. They can use the wallet they're already familiar with, MetaMask, the chains that they're already familiar with, uh, Base, Ethereum, and soon Solana, um, 
to buy 128 AI decentralized AI company tokens. That is huge. And I, and not enough people, I think realize exactly, um, the opportunity here that's in front of them. I think it's an extremely large one. Uh, I've been kicking around since the early Bitcoin days in 2013, um, as well as, you know, I was in the ETH, the Ethereum ICO uh, in 2015. So I've seen these sort of life-changing opportunities pop up, not not very frequently, but I, I believe that what we're seeing right now is, is the third time I've seen one of these life-changing opportunities. Um, I don't think it'll be like this for long, but I think... You know, there, there's there is a window of time in which you can buy subnets very, very cheaply. Um, I don't think that'll last forever, but it is true today. And now you can, you know, regular crypto people can get at this opportunity. They no longer have to struggle with the native wallets and the native token. Um, just use the assets and the chains you already have and the wallet you already use. So there's a link to uh, Taofi's X account in the video description below. My name is Mark Jeffrey. This has been a BitTensor Brief. Hope you enjoyed it. See you all next time.